I'm Rob Sutherland from the University of Lethbridge. As a child, I had no idea that I was going to become a scientist. A lot of people seem to have a passion from the time they're a young child to become a doctor or a scientist or an archaeologist. I had no idea. And uh, I decided, uh, fairly young, that um, I would explore as much as possible the different avenues for occupation or, or profession and uh, actually systematically did that. Um, I was always really good at science and always very good at math uh, and thought possibly that something that uh, took advantage of, of those two things would be a good line of work. My father was an engineer uh, or worked in electrical engineering on the technical side of designing things and I knew I didn't want to do that. The time that I really became convinced that I would be a scientist is when I had an opportunity uh, when I was in high school to go and work in a laboratory. Uh, it was at a hospital in downtown Toronto and what I saw was a lot of really interesting, clever people doing things that I had never imagined you could actually accomplish. They were discovering how uh, the pancreas did its work, uh, something that in my biology classes and so forth was presented as a mystery, not in very much depth. These people were actually figuring it out and could explain it to me in a way that made sense. It was valid and it was something that would stand the test of time. When I got to university, uh, I didn't know that I would become a neuroscientist, but as soon as I heard about the brain and the problems, the complexities, the diseases that affect the brain and the impact that knowledge about the brain could have, both for myself, understanding how things work, but more importantly for, uh, for society and for human health, uh, I became addicted and have been studying the brain uh, ever since. Uh, after I hit university, it really, uh, I was unable to find any other avenue for answering questions that provided the kind of satisfaction and certainty that, that science can when it's done well. 